Uniform magnetic field of 0.15 Tesla exists in a cylindrical region of radius 10 cm. Its direction being parallel to the axis along east to west. A wire carrying a current of 7 ampere in the north to south direction passes through this region. What is the magnitude and direction of the force on the wire if three conditions are given? The wire intersects the axis. The wire is turned from north-south to northeast or northwest direction. And the third condition is the wire in the north-south direction is lowered from the axis by a distance of 6 cm. So it is kind of a complex problem. And as you can see, there is a small diagram on the board. A uniform magnetic field of 0.15 Tesla exists in a cylindrical region. The region hangar that way, it is in the form of a cylinder. It is in the form of a cylinder. And there is an axis of that cylinder. Now the axis hangar that way, it is east to west. The direction of the axis is east to west. The radius is 10 cm. The hangar that way, the axis of that way, it is going to be perpendicular. The wire is perpendicular out there. The wire is going from north to south. And this wire is carrying a current of 7 ampere. There is a circular face on the And that circular face is shown here. And in between, the wire is cutting that circle in a horizontal way. So this line, I hope you are able to see the color. This is a red colored line. This line is the wire. Let's call this as AB. And this distance, the circle or the cylinder has a radius of 10 cm. So it will be 10 cm. Let us say the center is O and 10 cm on right hand side. It is just a region where the magnetic field exists. It is not a solid cylinder. What is the magnitude and direction of the magnetic force that is going to appear on this wire? Second part. In the second part, if we look from the top, we measure in the horizontal way, from the end of the axis E kata rata, it is a wire. And what I have labeled the wire is AB. So I am going to this as AB. And this is the axis. It is axis of And this is the wire. Let us say this is A, this is B. So top side the horizontal way, from the end of the axis. This is the axis of the cylinder and this is the wire which is perpendicular to the axis which was positionally perpendicular to the axis in the first condition. Second condition here along the way, this wire which is supposed to be in the north of direction, it is changing the direction like this. E pratara ito, apwa e pratara ito. It is either going in the northeast direction or going in the northwest direction. Third situation again along the way, in the AB wire, it is coming down. So the yesterday dark kadega along the way, it is going down by 6 cm. It has gone down by 6 cm. So if you only have a yes length into, it was 10 cm on this side, 10 cm on this side, totally the length of the wire which was present inside the magnetic field, it was 20 cm. But when it comes down, the length is going to be different. The length of the wire which is present inside that region of magnetic field will be more when it is at the center. When it goes down, the length of the wire, this is C, this is B. So this length C D will be less than the length A B. So let's start with the given data. What are the given things? The only two things are given. One is the current and one is the magnetic field. So B is 0.15 Tesla and the current is given as 7 ampere. So what we need for the party? Length of the wire inside the region of magnetic field. Now we have got it as AB, let's call that as length L and this will be 10 plus 10 will be 20 centimeter. I will write it as just 0 0.2 meter. The wire lies in not from the direction. The magnetic field the direction the magnetic field exists in east-west direction. Now what this means is the wire is perpendicular to the magnetic field and the field that is coming there, the field that is going to be 90 degrees here. So now what we have here is we have a magnetic field, we have a length of conductor and that conductor is carrying a current. So we already have that equation, we have derived that equation that is the force on a current carrying conductor. So now the force F will be equal to I L B sin theta. We have this equation that is the force on a current carrying conductor. So I will directly substitute the values, I is given as 7 times the length is 0 0.2 into the magnetic field is 0 0.15 into sin 90, 2.1 newton. So that is the force on that current carrying conductor. So the magnetic field is going into the board, the current is perpendicular to that one. The force wire turns. Like this. And this was the length, and this I can take it here. 
here. Now there will be some angle theta between the length of the wire and the direction of the magnetic field. Now I can take this. This is the A dash and this is the B dash and this is the magnetic field and the B and the vector so that it comes confusing. So this is the terminal of the wire A and B. Now the two terminals of the wire are A dash and B dash. There is an angle theta between the direction of the magnetic field and the direction of the wires. Now what happens here is when this has gone, that theta is going to appear. We want that new length because when we have to calculate this I can be we wanted the length and that length we took it as the length A B. Now we want that length A dash B dash. So what we are going to do here is first of all the opposite side of the sine theta and that sine theta is going to be opposite by hypotenuse, which is going to be A B divided by A dash B dash plus A dash B dash is the hypotenuse. So we're going to triangle like this, right angle triangle, it is going to give me this. What is the unknown quantity here is A dash B dash. So it will be A dash B dash and this is going to be A B divided by sin theta. So I am going to take this as L dash equals to L divided by sin theta. Now again I am going to go back to the same equation. Yuck is equal to, I can take as yuck dash. So yuck dash is equal to I into L dash B sin theta. The current is same, the magnetic field is same, the theta has changed now. Previously theta was 90 degree, now it is some angle theta. Now next, in the next chapter, substitute the values. I can take this again as generalized values. I into, what is L dash? L dash is found it as L divided by sin theta. Let us go to the angle that as L divided by sin theta. And this is D sin theta. Now if you look into the equation, we have got sin theta and sin theta. These two sin theta will cancel. What we are left with is only just I L B. So F dash is equal to I L B. And that calculation we have already done because this was sin 19. It was giving a value of 1. And this 7 is same as here. L that is also same as here. And the B is also magnetic field is going to be same. So again, we want to do the substitution and we can get the answer. The answer will be the same as the previous situation. That is 2.1 Newton because the angle is not going to appear here. Solution is for the last part where the wire is going to come down by a length by a distance of 6 cm. Original position of wire was in the center of the cylinder. Now it is going to be coming in the lower part of the cylinder. Now, because this is a symmetrical figure, it is a symmetrical diagram, in the symmetrical structure, all the distances from the center to the circumference will be same. That is the radius of this cylinder. So this length O to A, O to B will be same as 10 cm as well as the distance O to C as well as O to D will also be representing the radius of the circle. So this is again going to be 10 cm, this is also going to be 10 cm. So what we want here is because the equation which we are going to deal with is I L P sin theta because we already know it is in the north south direction so theta is again going to become 90 degree so that is going to become 1. We are not interested in the theta but what we are interested in here is the length has changed Previously, the length was 20 cm, now the length is less than that 20 cm. So, how to find that length? So, as you can see, when we shift this and draw the extra two radii, we are going to get a right angle triangle in the perpendicular. Let's say this is young. And OCM, it is a right angle triangle. Two sides are known. Let's take the third side as X. So, the same thing is going to be CM is going to be same, and same thing is going to be MD. So, now the length of the wire is going to be this is X plus X. So, the length of wire is going to become 2 times of X. Situation in part C is when the wire is lowered by a distance of 6 cm. Now we want this length CD. So CD is equal to, let's take this as L, and this CD is going to be 2 times of x. So x will be equal to root of 10 square minus 6 square. It will be hypotenuse square will be equal to adjacent square plus the opposite square. It will be like that. But what we want here is we want the adjacent side. So it will be adjacent side will be equal to hypotenuse square minus the opposite square. So that is the thing. So if I simplify this, it is 10 square, it will be 100. 6 square, it will be 36. 100 minus 36 is going to give us 64. 2 plus 64 is going to be 8 centimeter. Now, x is 8 centimeter. What will be our length? Here is going to be 2 times of x. So 8 centimeter is going to become 16 centimeter. That I can write as 0 0.16 meter. So we want the length. We already have a magnetic field, we already have the current, we know that angle theta is 90 degree, directly we can go for that force equation, force on the conductor. So, yeah, is equal to I, L, B, sin 90 degree. So, I into this 7 into length, we just know we found it as 0.16 into the magnetic field is 0.15 tesla. So, that is the force. So, the force is going to be.